Hello, I'm Nicole Busby, Professor of Human Rights, Equality and Justice at the University of Glasgow. In the lead up to the general election 2019, I've been taking a look at the manifesto pledges of the various main parties in relation to family rights. So those rights that parents and others with care responsibilities are entitled to in respect of their paid work and unpaid uh, care commitments. These are sometimes called work family balance policies or reconciliation uh, policies. Why are they important? Well, we know that there's a gender pay gap in the UK, which currently sits at around 17.3% for all employees. This is in part attributable to the fact that women bear a disproportionate amount of responsibility for unpaid care commitments. And this can have a detrimental or negative impact on their experiences and prospects at work. For example, many women reduce their hours or leave employment altogether due to caring responsibilities, usually for children, but sometimes increasingly for other family members. In 2018, the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy and the EHRC published research which showed that more women now report pregnancy discrimination than 10 years ago. For example, 77% of pregnant women and mothers reported at least one potentially discriminatory or negative experience at work. Half of mothers report a negative impact on their careers, such as lower level duties, being treated with less respect or feeling their opinion was less valued. 20% of mothers experienced harassment or hostility due to flexible working arrangements and 11% of mothers were dismissed or made redundant when others were not or treated so poorly that they felt they had to leave. 10% reported being discouraged by their employers from attending antenatal appointments. So as well as improving workplace rights for mothers, one way of overcoming this would be to enhance care related rights for fathers and the UK is slowly moving towards a system of guaranteed paternity rights. So what is the current position in relation to maternity, paternity and parental leave and pay? Mothers are currently entitled to up to a year of statutory maternity leave, some of which is transferable to the father. Fathers have a right to two weeks paid paternity leave following the birth of a child, but neither statutory maternity pay or paternity pay is paid at a full rate of pay. Maternity, rate, maternity pay is paid at a rate of nine months, the statutory rate, which is usually 90% of earnings, and then at a flat rate for the remainder, which is currently £148.68 per week. In addition, both parents are entitled to 18 weeks parental leave in respect of each child up to the child's 18th birthday, but this is unpaid. Childcare is also a really important issue for parents. Childcare costs in the UK are high compared to other countries, with costs and the level of provision varying dependent on where you live. So the lack of affordable, good quality childcare can be a real barrier to working families wishing to improve their standard of living, particularly when mothers wish to return to work or to increase their hours of work. The main issues then are paid leave for parents, childcare, carers' rights and the right to work flexibly. So let's look at each of those in turn in respect of the various main parties' manifesto pledges. Starting with the Conservative on leave periods and pay, the Conservatives say in their manifesto that they would legislate to allow parents to take extended leave for neonatal care to support those new mothers and fathers who need it during the most vulnerable and stressful days of their lives. This is obviously a very important provision, but it is quite restrictive. It only really relates to the time around the birth of a sick child. The Conservatives say they'd also look at ways to make it easier for fathers to take paternity leave and they say they would extend paternity leave and pay, but they don't define how they would do this. What about Labour? Labour say they would extend statutory maternity pay from nine to 12 months. They would ban the dismissal of pregnant women without prior approval of the inspectorate and they would double paternity leave from two weeks to four weeks and increase statutory paternity pay. The Lib Dems would offer parental leave and pay to the self-employed 
and they would increase statutory paternity pay from two weeks to six weeks, ensuring that parental leave is a day one right. They would also address continuing inequalities faced by same sex couples in regard to their parental rights. And they would require all organisations to publish parental leave and pay policies. The Green Party has nothing specific in its manifesto on this particular issue. So, what about childcare? How do the parties compare in relation to the provision of childcare for working parents? The Conservatives have nothing specific in the manifesto on childcare, but they do have some provisions on flexible working, which I'll come to in a minute. The Labour Party has quite a range of different policy provisions, um, all based around their Sure Start Plus scheme. This is focused on the under twos initially, and the vision is to make high quality early years educational provision available for every child. Within five years, all two, three and four year olds would be entitled to 30 hours of free preschool education per week and access to additional hours at affordable subsidised rates, which would be staggered according to income. The Labour Party also pledges that they would work to extend childcare provision for one-year-olds and to ensure that provision accommodates the working patterns of all parents. They would pay childcare costs up front so that parents aren't forced to turn down work or to get into debt to pay for childcare. The Lib Dems have nothing specific on childcare in their manifesto. The Green Party say that they would provide 35 hours a week of free childcare for all from the age of nine months. This free childcare would include in-work facilities such as on-site creches and flexible working opportunities such as job shares to help parents who choose to return to work following the birth of a child. What about the party's manifesto pledges in relation to flexible working and carers rights? So flexible working is used by parents as a way of balancing paid work with childcare, but it's also available for other purposes, including wider care commitments, for example, to care for parents, a partner or anyone else. Currently, the law provides the right to request a flexible work arrangement for any employee who has 26 weeks continuous service with the same employer and who earns above the lower earnings limit of £118 per week. The employer must consider this request, but can refuse or amend it on certain specified grounds. The sorts of things that might be incorporated in a flexible work arrangement might include a change to part time from full time work with pay adjusted accordingly, compressed hours or flexi hours. So it's not a right for, to paid leave for carers, which UK law doesn't currently provide. So there's currently no entitlement to leave for carers beyond time off in an emergency which is unpaid and which is usually only for a day or two, with the intention being that more permanent care arrangements will be put in place. What are the different parties then pledging to do on issues surrounding carers' entitlements and also the right to flexible work? Starting with the Conservative Party, they pledge to extend the entitlement to leave for unpaid carers the majority of whom are women, to one week. So this is one week's unpaid care. This would be a, an addition actually to the UK's current provision, which as I've said, doesn't offer anything in relation to leave for carers beyond that emergency short-term uh, period of a couple of days. So one week's unpaid leave for carers under the Conservative Party's manifesto. They would also encourage flexible working and consult on making it the default position unless employers have good reasons not to do so. Labour say they would conduct a review into the right to respond to family emergencies during working hours. So they would look at that particular provision. They would introduce the right for all workers to request flexibility over their hours from the first day of employment, so as a day one right. They would require all large employers to have flexible working, including a menopause policy, and they would consider changes to sickness and absence practices. The Lib Dems would change the law so that flexible working would be open to all from a day one right in the job, with employers required to advertise jobs accordingly, unless there would be significant business reasons why that wouldn't be possible. 
The Green Party has nothing specific on carers' rights beyond those for parents or on flexible working in, in, in its manifesto. So, in summary then, if we compare the manifesto pledges of the main parties in relation to family rights, what can we surmise? Most parties recognise the need for better rights for fathers, but they differ in their pledges. Labour offers four weeks of paternity leave and an increase to the statutory pay. The Liberal Democrats offer six weeks of paternity leave without an increase to statutory pay. And the Conservatives focus on an extension to paternity leave when a child is born in need of neonatal care. They say they'll make it easier to take leave, but they provide no details to suggest what this might mean in practice. Labour and the Lib Dems are offering parental leave and pay as a day one right. Under the Conservatives, it seems you'd still have to have been in continuous employment with the same employer for 26 weeks and be over the lower earnings limit of £118 per week to get paid time off after the birth or adoption of a child. All parties also recognise the need for flexible working and free childcare, but again, they vary in the generous generosity of their offerings. Labour and the Lib Dems are offering day one flexible working, while the Conservative Party is planning another consultation on that. Labour and the Greens are both trying to provide childcare as early as possible. The Greens promise 35 weeks of childcare from nine months, and Labour promises 30 weeks from two years, with the aim of eventually providing it from one year. Only Labour are looking at improving protection from discrimination and redundancy for pregnant women and new mothers. So that's the whistle stop tour through the various manifesto pledges of the main parties in the general election 2019 in relation to family rights. I hope you find it useful. Thank you.